G'day mates, how you doing? Um, today I'm going to show you how to teabag Piet and his seven star executive, his silly little executor with just a seven star negotiator. Just walking you through the fleet here and as you can see it falls to the walls. Seven star, all abilities upgraded. Xanadu Blood's the only one that's not seven, uh, Relic 7, he's Relic 5 but all the rest are all Relic 7. And just before we go on while we're setting up the crew, I want to give a massive thanks to Rise of Heroes. Um, I've just I've taken their idea because uh, their video um, it's so good and I've just I wanted to make it my own and, and get it out there to you guys because I think this is such an important counter for Grand Arena and Fleet Arena um, especially with all these executives popping up now that they're, they're they are not as fast as they once were so this has saved me many times and I hope that it saves you guys for the lineup um, you want your 7 star negotiator, you want your Ahsoka, your Annie and your Sunfak in the front three. Um, reinforcements, the only one that really matters is Plo Koon, but I would recommend the rest be GR, um, you got your Republic, and that's it. So let's crack right into it. Massive, 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 awesome thank you for uh, to Rise of Heroes for discovering this again. It, it has been a lifesaver, honestly. You've saved me many crystals, so thank you. I put his video in the description um, to show him some love. If you see this one and go and like their video too, I really, really appreciate it. So to crack into it, and the first thing we're going to do here is Ahsoka's going to use her middle ability to get rid of the um, tenacity up from Houndstooth. Um, my negotiator then went next, and what we want to do here is we want to use our AoE, right? We want to get as much turn meter through Houndstooth's itty bitty little ship as possible, right? This is super important because we do want to go next. In this instance, my Anakin went next, and I just used basic. I want to hold onto that load. He's haunted, which is great. If you've read Houndstooth Kits, Houndstooth Kit, you'll know why that's important. When he taunts, uh, when he's not taunting, he has plus 50% tenacity. So now that he's taunting, he's gotten rid of that plus 50% tenacity, that boost that he has, which is awesome. And we've moved straight on to Sunfak, which is exactly what we want to do because we want to hit a stun now. So, lost his tenacity and we need that stun to apply. Awesome. So they're going to do a nice assist and they've done it onto Sunfak, which is good. And he's taking his turn and immediately that's when we want to drop that load so we can get that buff immunity and the health immunity. If you get this far, I'd say you're going to win. I think you should be pretty confident in your ability to win here. It's pretty simple from there, from here forward. Um, but I got really good RNG where they've attacked Sunfak twice in a row. And it just feeds at his turn meter. So that's, that's been a real help in this situation. Again, and he's going to take, take another shot. So this is where I'm calling in Plo Koon to heal up Ahsoka. And give us some more turn meter so I can really push this guy out. Unfortunately, didn't get the kill there, but I've chosen to do an AoE, and that's knocked down Sanadu Blood as well. From here, I really don't think I need to say much more. I mean, you've got one ship to deal with. Sure, he's called in a reinforcement, but you're not looking at stuff that can be applying breaches. Um, this is easy from here. So while the video is playing, I'll let you know a little bit more about my fleet. So I've got the Seven Star Negotiator. Everything's upgraded. General Kenobi's by the gates. Um, uh, Anakin is Relic 7, ship is completely upgraded, um, Ahsoka is Relic 8, ship is completely upgraded, and Plotoon is Gear 11, but ship is completely upgraded. Now I do call in the BTL bomber here, uh, the BTL wipe in, sorry, and it is 7 star completely upgraded. But if you want to look at someone doing it with less gear, I recommend going and checking out Rise of Heroes, because he's done it with considerably less gear than I have. My sun fact was also a Relic 7 fully upgraded ship. So again, really easy once you know the little internal pins, but there's really three main steps. You've got to get the tenacity off, you've got to do your AoE, and then you've got to get the stun with sun fact. And after that, you can just almost auto it really. It's that easy. So if you've enjoyed this video, please check out Rise of Heroes video, link in the description, give them a like, give me a like. Um, I'd love if you could subscribe to me. I'm a new streamer, small streamer, trying to start up. Um, I also stream on Twitch every Saturday, so come and join me while I get curb stomped. But I hope you've enjoyed a tutorial on how to teabag Admiral Piet. Thank you and have a good day.